It's not a turtle. Thank you too. Oh, that's good. Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for uh, for clicking on this little video. So we just got here to camp. Let's get out and take a look to see see what we're dealing with tonight. It feels like it's been been forever since I did this. So I didn't do it last week. That, that might be why it feels that way, but um, I was able to get quite a bit of stuff done in the two weeks that I did do one of these videos. So let me before we go look at the camp, let me show you what I got done to the to the rig here. Um, I was able to get, I went ahead and, and did a two inch level on the front, which in my opinion makes it look <laughs> a whole lot better. And then down here on the back, I actually installed some airbags that's gonna help out these guys right here that uh, will hopefully help out when I'm actually pulling the trailer. Not so much just driving around town, but I did air them up to 25 PSI on the way up here to kind of test out the ride. And honestly, I couldn't even tell the difference but this back end is jacked up way more than I typically would keep it, but I wanted to see how the ride was and, and it, it, it did just fine. And the cool thing is, is they, they installed the, uh, where I air them up right here on the license plate mounting brackets where they used to be. So this is a left air bag, that's a right air bag. And, and I went back and forth between trying to figure out, well, I knew for the longest time that I wanted the Firestone Ride Right airbags. And I went to the shop and there was two people there that had a different kind of airbag. And even the guy that I was gonna buy the Firestones from recommended that I get the Ready Lift, Ready Air airbags. So that's what I went with. And they're a little bit more expensive, but you know, Ready Lift's got a lifetime warranty and I've always used Ready Lift Lift products. And so far, I mean, this is the first trip, but it's worked out perfect, but you guys hear that? I don't know. But anyway, let me take you for a little, little gander around the campsite today and kind of show you what we're working with. So I've got a really, really fun dinner plan tonight. So that table hopefully will come in nice and handy but we're fairly close to the to the water here. And it's been raining all week, so it's a little muddy out here. And in fact, I thought it was gonna rain on me tonight, but the clouds look like they're kind of starting to, to give way, but. Well, not quite a lakefront property, but I can easily walk to the water from where I'm at. Um, so I'm not even gonna say we're gonna do fishing. We might, we might not. I don't wanna make a big deal about it because my luck has been terrible. So if I think that I don't even talk about fishing and just surprise you guys, maybe that'll help. But uh, I'm gonna head back up here to the truck and get unloaded and we'll get this little adventure started tonight. So it is just very, very quiet out here right now. And I don't, I hope you guys can pick up that bird that's right behind you, but it's just a really, really nice, peaceful day right now. There is a fella down here working on his RV where you might hear an impact wrench, but besides that, super quiet today and as you can probably tell i'm in jeans it's 68 degrees outside right now so i didn't even bring my ac unit 
So that's always a bonus. Makes it a lot easier. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, some, since I have a horrible habit of keeping this tailgate open, I'm gonna go ahead and set off my uh, thermocell just to keep all the little, little annoying bugs away, hopefully. I can see it. There we go. And let's crack open a beer. Good old fashioned banquets again. And now I'm having a hard time finding the little stubby glass bottles again. I can find these big 16 ounce cans all day long. But uh, I'm having kind of a hard time finding the, the little glass stubbies, which is fine. I don't really like bringing glass out here to campsites, but I swear the glass stubbies taste better. Cheers, everyone. Thanks for tagging along. Thank you, too. Oh, that's good. Oh, oh before I forget, because I will forget. I will forget. I haven't done one of these in a while, it seems like. So I do have a giveaway on this video. Um, and this is kind of one of those things where it's just, if you get this, just keep it in your truck, keep it in your car. I think I've given away one of these late last year and it, went, it was pretty popular. But this is another uh, car jump starter that uh, you, you charge up, you keep in your car, and if your battery's ever dead, you have this to start it. This particular one is an Ava Pow brand. 6,000 amp, 6,000 peak amp starting power. So this is rated for basically any gas vehicle or up to a 12 liter diesel engine. So it's going to start pretty much whatever you want. And pull it out of the little package here. So it comes in a, in a, in a bag that you can keep in your vehicle. So you don't have to worry about getting a bag. So you just unzip this bad boy. And oh, don't fall. Here's the actual, you know, power bank, not power bank, but jump starter. So look, it even comes with a little handle because it's super heavy. That's a lie. But it's got an LED light on the front, and you can actually use this thing as kind of like, like a little power bank too. A type C charging input. It's got a USB output and a, and a quick charge USB output, as well as a DC output, a little 5521 barrel output. So you can use this to charge up your phone. Um, probably not a laptop. It's probably not strong enough for a laptop, but you know, phones, batteries maybe. So in the event that you just have to top off your phone, you guys can use this. But the main thing is is to jump your battery off. And so it comes with these jumper cables, and you just plop open this little guy right here and you plug in your jump, jumper cables there's only one way to do it so you can't mess it up and if you have a dead battery in the morning just you can have a way to <laughs> um, save yourself not have to rely on another car to come so I keep one of these in my truck and in my RV and my wife has one in her car too so it's just a great little gadget to keep in your car and this thing has a 32,000 milliamp hour battery in it so it'll last quite a few jumps i recommend charging it back up if you do have to jump it but if you're on the road and your battery's not doing good this will give it at least five or six jumps um, without recharging it so just something cool to keep in your car if you need it so i'm glad i got that out of the way because i probably would have forgotten about it but uh thank you to ava pal for helping out the channel and sending me this to you so i could give it to you just in case you're curious i forgot to mention it does come with a type c charging cord that you can use to charge up the battery and a little 5521 2 cigarette style adapter that you can plug in and power say a little 12 volt compressor fridge not for very long but it does come with this adapter if you you know in a pinch you have to have that 12 volt power source just plug it up to here and this thing will work so fantastic now it just fits nice back into this little case stick it back in the box and uh, I'll, I'll pay for shipping on this one folks so just leave a comment hashtag brian waters outdoors so i can filter to the comment if you're interested and I will pick a winner and announce it next Friday and pin the comment to this video as well as try to get a hold of you through the comment section. So there you go.
Well, with that out of the way, let's see. So I didn't bring my regular fishing pole, but I did bring my catfish rig. So my intention was for this video is ultimate relaxation and not worrying about me not catching anything. So I brought this and I'm going to go stick it down there by the bank, put a little bell on the end of this thing and hopefully let the bait do the work for me while I enjoy my beer. That should be good. I gotta find my bell. I don't know where my bell is. Not that it matters, but just in case, you know, a bird lands on the tip of the rod, I, I can hear it ding. Definitely not for a, a bite alert. plan on hearing that go off at all, but we'll try. Okay. Enough of that nonsense. Let's get out of here. Go catch this. with it I'm not gonna sit down here and worry about it we're gonna go back up here to the truck and if I happen to hear that bell ring I'll come scooting down here look here gentlemen and ladies ripped his lips off kidding it's gonna be a turtle I guarantee you it's fighting but it's a turtle oh my gosh come on oh what no it's not a turtle I caught a baby catfish finally I'll be dang. Finally. Oh, oh, you ate that hook. Oh, I gotta go get some, uh, I gotta go get some pliers. You stay there. I was kind of wondering why he wasn't fighting so bad. Hey, it's still a fish though, right? Well, it's not much, but it's been a long time. <laughs> All right, guy. Let's try that again.
There we go. Where did I put my pliers? I didn't even have my microphone, so this is all <laughs> in-camera microphone audio. Because I wasn't planning on coming down here and seeing that thing go. Oh well. Didn't get skunked. Bonus. So here's the deal. That's pretty much how I envisioned uh, fishing would go today. I wasn't even expecting it. I was down there shooting with a different camera without a microphone and anything, and that pole just started dinging on me. But hey, guys, again, I don't know if you caught any of that with the audio, but I didn't get skunked today. But I am super excited about dinner tonight. I went out and I bought the small 17 inch uh, Blackstone griddle for the RV. And before we stick it in the RV, I wanted to uh, bring it out here and and give it its uh, first taste test. So I'm gonna be cooking my favorite meal of all times, which is breakfast. I don't, I don't eat breakfast for breakfast, but I love breakfast for dinner. And I thought it'd be fun to test this thing out, if I can figure out how to open it. But I did season it about five times at home. So it should be ready to go, but we're just gonna make a nice, fancy Waffle House style breakfast tonight. I hope. And I did pick up these wind guards, but I don't think I'm going to need it here. Okay. Where does this go? So I really have no idea how this is going to turn out. I even got some fancy griddle utensils. And I don't hear that ringing anymore. And hopefully the single light. First try. <laughs> Fancy griddle spatula and some avocado oil. Well, look at me. I'm going to turn this off. I got so excited about cooking, I got to dice up the darn onions and peppers. Catching that fish really uh, threw my brain through a scramble. So now that I've got my life back in order, let's get these chopped up. I think this should be big enough. I think we'll be good. All right, red bell pepper. Now for the onion. Ooh, that was strong. Ooh. Don't tell anyone. Now we can begin cooking this. 
see if we can get it to start on the second time. Bingo. Okay. I'm going to put actually just a little bit more olive oil back here. Oh yeah, that's nice and hot. Got some healthy butter. It's a new butter. You got to find it in a special section of the store, but it's it's a labeled healthy butter. Get some salt and pepper on here. Man, those are caramelizing so fast. Okay, now for the next part, got some hash browns. That's hot. A little bit of spice. I need a towel. Jeans will work. I really like a, a pretty big crisp on my hash browns, so this would probably be good for, for most people but I'm gonna let it cook just a, just a hair longer. So we're about ready to plate up. All right. Start with the bed of onions and peppers.
we're not done yet. We're gonna throw on a little bit of cheese. Bacon is basically nice and crispy. I'm pretty proud right now. Ladies and gentlemen, that is my breakfast for dinner. Can you see that? Let's get a close up. So I keep saying we're not done yet, but the final ingredient is picante sauce. Oh, I wish you folks could smell this. It's just cheesy goodness in here. Oh my goodness. Let's try some bacon. I don't even think I have to explain how good this is. dig into this bad boy. I love you. Mm. It, it has that Waffle House flavor. I don't know if, if where you're watching this you have Waffle House, but it's just a dirty short order breakfast cafe type place and in my experience the dirtier the waffle house restaurant the better the cooks are the better the food is and this tastes almost close to that hmm. i was actually surprised how affordable these blackstones were i thought they were really super expensive that one right there was, I got it on sale for $109. And my little Coleman grill that you folks have might have seen me use quite a bit was pretty much the same price. So I'd cook on that any day over that Coleman hot, hot. I can't wait to test this out in the RV. The wife's gonna dig it. She's gonna love this thing. There's just something about a, a griddle top that just makes food taste different, I think. Well, I got the grill kind of cleaned up. It's still way too hot to put actually into this bag. Um, clean up wasn't too bad. Uh, I just let it, I just reheated up the, the griddle let it get hot and then I squirted some water on it and then scraped off all of the oil into the little catch pan that's on the back of the grill or griddle and uh, that's really it. Kind of with these things, the dirtier they are, the better they taste. So I don't want to scrub it really, really hard, but overall that dinner was absolutely fantastic. It tasted like a cheap Waffle House dinner, which is exactly what I wanted. So I'm going to get the rest of this stuff put up. I'm going to clean out the back of my truck and, uh, I'm gonna show you guys what I have planned next. Something I've been wanting to do for, for quite a while, so hopefully it works out tonight. Oh, I am in a breakfast food coma now. Holy moly. Oh. Guess I should go check the, uh, the catfish rig. See if there's anything on it. I'm kind of thinking no. I think one's my limit. Yeah. I'm gonna reel it in and call it a night. Maybe that's why. 
No bait on it. I'm not gonna press my luck, guys. I caught one. And I'll take it. Oh, it's a muddy mess down here. So here's kind of what I wanted to try out tonight. I've had this for a while and I've, and I've never gotten a, a chance to use it really. And it's just kind of muddy and kind of gross out here right now with all the, the rain. So this is one of those kind of solo stove, but it's not a solo stove. It's a much more affordable solo stove. Um, I, I, I don't know what the difference is between them, but I'm gonna try this out tonight. And this is from Bond's Life stoves so it's just a much cheaper version but it seems pretty robust i guess so i did go pick up some smaller wood for it don't need that and it does come with a base if you want to like start it on on grass or whatnot but we're gonna do it here tonight Now I'm just gonna go ahead and get this all set up. I'm not really wanna start the fire right now because it's, I got about another hour and a half worth of somewhat daylight. So I'm gonna get all the wood ready, get my kindling ready, and then we'll start this fire here probably in about 30 minutes, or I'll hope to start this fire in about 30 minutes. So the whole smokeless thing kind of goes out the window when you put packing paper in it, but I didn't have any other kindling. So I'm hoping that's gonna get this, these logs kind of started at least. And we're going pretty good now. Well, I mean, I tell you what, gang, um, <clears throat> this wood's not like fully cooking yet, but I, I can see a little bit of smoke. Now, obviously you're not gonna have a smokeless fire, but I, I just see heat fumes at this point coming up. I don't see that, that nasty smoke like I normally get with a uh, normal campfire. So maybe this, these things do work. I don't know. But I can tell you, these things put out an immense amount of heat compared to a campfire. That is hot. I mean, I can feel that.
have any bugs in here tonight. I had that thing closed with this going, kind of forgot about it. So I'm gonna let this air out just a little bit. <laughs> Whoops. All right, guys, well, we are obviously in the truck now. About to call it close to the night. I, uh, I kind of got a little carried away while that fire was going because my wife called me. And, uh, well, I was on the phone with her for about, an, I don't know, an hour. <laughs> and uh, got a little bit of new. Well, I don't even know if I should share this, but. Uh, we think we're going to be potentially acquiring another pig. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, there's There was a couple of uh, French Bulldogs that were on a rescue site that my wife put in an application for to rescue. And they called her back today. Um, but they're really serious. They made her do a, a video call, a FaceTime call, so they could see the house. They're setting up an interview with her, a face-to-face -face person type interview, but um, she said it went really well, and uh, they're looking to move forward. So I don't know if I just jinxed the whole thing, but uh, potentially uh, we could be getting another pig on the channel, a baby pig, like eight-week-old pig, like that pig, that size pig. So <laughs> I don't know how that's going to work out. Um, yeah, I don't want to get too excited about it because it's not set in stone yet but we'll see how it goes i don't know uh so i kind of lost track of everything that i was trying to do so i got to figure out where i'm at now um let's see do i have my ipad got my memory card maybe get that set up there Got that, got my cooler. I'm good to go. I'm glad I don't need an air conditioning unit tonight. Um, it still feels pretty good outside. Actually, it might get a little chilly tonight. Um, and I did, I, I got my hands on another air conditioning unit that I'm gonna be able to test out and show you folks if it's worth the money or not because they are expensive. But I got my hands on an EcoFlow Wave 2. And I'm kind of doing the testing now, and I'll post a video of, of the tests here in probably the next couple of days, maybe a week or so. Um, it's got its advantages and obviously disadvantages with the price, but it's truly could be an off-grid type air conditioning unit because it does accept solar. Um, a, I think around 400 watts of solar. It's got a battery on it. I don't know. I'm not going to get into too many details of it right now, but it's a pretty cool little unit. So I'll, I'm, I'm pretty excited to be able to kind of show you folks that versus the $200 window air conditioning unit that uh, works just fine right now. So a lot of people have commented um, that they wanted to see how good the EcoFlow Wave 2 works because technically it's a bigger AC unit. It's 5100 BTUs versus my window AC, which is 5,000. So it's a little bit bigger, uh, probably not much to tell the difference, 100 BTUs, but we'll see how that goes. Um, anyway, wow, that was an easy, easy setup. Can't believe I caught a fish. Can't believe it. Maybe the the streak is broken of not catching anything. Cause see, I didn't even I didn't even think about it tonight. I threw the bait out there, and I was out there trying to get some B-roll with the camera, and I saw that rod go down. I didn't have my mic set up on the camera, so I don't even know if you were able to hear me talking. I'll figure that out here tonight when I download the the video files. But oh, it feels good to finally catch one, albeit again that big. Whatever, I'll take it. So, I'm going to get put in my jammies, and I'll see you folks here in just a second. I'm back. You're welcome for not making you go through that change of clothing. Oh, oh 9 o'clock. Man, that's, that's fairly late for me. 
I'm gonna get my phone charging. Is this the right cord? Because I picked the wrong one every single time. Yes, it is. Is that down here? We're good to go. And I don't even know what I have for movies tonight, but um, I don't know if I'm gonna be watching much tonight. Let's see, just in case, what did I get? American Manhunt, the Boston Marathon bombing. I watch some really amazing shows, apparently. I got that in Emergency New York City. So that one's a kind of a, about the, um, like the airlift, the, uh, gosh, emergency helicopters. Uh, Air One, I don't know what you call them. But basically the, uh, the air ambulances in New York City. So I got that in American Manhunt, Boston Marathon bombing. But... Got a couple of uh, video files to download. And then, probably gonna head to bed. Yep. Oh, well, gang, thanks for tagging along this little adventure today. You finally got to see me catch a fish, which is a good thing. So, Kudos to me for doing such an amazing job. <laughs> such a smart Ellie. Oh well. Like my hat clip. So I just got one of those little suction cup hooks and uh, works perfect for my little hat. Know where it's at now. So, all right, folks, what did I just drop? I don't know. Uh oh. All right. Now I'm heading to bed. We'll see you folks in the morning. Coffee time and hopefully. A decent sunrise. Who knows? So, stay tuned. See you, folks. Good morning. I definitely didn't need my air conditioner last night. I needed my heater. And I didn't bring it. <laughs> oh, it's pretty chilly. 49 degrees. So it's not it's not bitter cold, but it's just got a little bit of bite in the air. And uh, I didn't really come prepared. Oh, here we go. so bright Six fifty. I say we uh, get up and make some coffee Let's see if we get any kind of sunrise I think we will from the looks of it from here so probably need to get up and get that going if we're gonna catch any kind of sunrise And yeah, I had to get up in the middle of the night. Thank goodness I packed this sweatshirt. Because I had to put this on in the middle of the night. Because it was a wee bit chilly. Oh, man. I think I'm going to make coffee with the jet boil this morning. No? Yeah. Jet boil coffee. Yeah, it's probably hard for you to see through the trees, but it looks like there's going to be a sunrise. Okay, let's go walk down there before we lose it. Yeah, I think we're going to get a pretty good one today.
well, but a little bit early. But it looks like we're gonna have one, so I'm gonna go up here and get some coffee made, and then we'll come back down and check it out when it's done. I'm on a bit of a slope here and I can't keep my drawer closed and it's annoying. So I gotta figure that out. Gotta get some kind of latch for it for when I'm parked a little bit at an angle. Now we wait. I always let these cook boil too long. I don't like it boiling hot. Good. We'll go down and check the sunrise again. I just think it's going to be a big old sun right now because there's not a whole lot of clouds in the sky, but we'll go take a look. Birds are happy. It's bright, I can tell you that. I don't know if it's going to show up on video, but yeah, unfortunately, there's just no clouds to catch that sun. But still nothing wrong with the sun coming up over the lake. Well, there you have it, folks. That's the sunrise for this morning. I think it was a little bit better than last time I tried it. Where we had none but kind of a bummer there's no clouds to really make it look pretty cool but oh well so anyway folks that is going to wrap it up for this little video had a good time thanks for watching thanks for tuning in and uh remember if you want me to ship you that jump starter leave your usual comment and uh i'll pick it next week and i'll announce it but until then folks we'll see you next week and thanks again so much for watching take care